I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Hey, good morning. I'm uh today I just this is, this is going to be a uh just sort of a my my musings, uh, sort of a un unplanned, unscripted, un I don't script my videos anyways, but my an un oh just me talking about the subject of bullies, bullying, bullies, you know, the whole the whole kitty caboodle there. Um and my I want to just something to point out, you know, in in case you try to take me seriously. Um, I want you to keep in mind that I am a let me let me think if I can get this right a uninformed retard a moron that should go straight to hell uh, and a buffoon oh uh, according to uh, that's 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 according to a uh, comment posted by one of our more uh, oh devout Christian brethren out there I thought that was it made me laugh you know speaking of bullies. Because you know, I don't know. There's something. There's something funny about oh, one of the faithful uh, damning me to hell. Um, I don't know. So it made me laugh. Uh, crazy, isn't it? Um, anyway, so um, I I want to talk about bullies because I I I'm really interested in this in the subject of of why people bully each other. And you know, it's ob it's certainly more prevalent when you're in, in youth, you know, it's something, you know, I think a lot of us, if not all of us at some point in time, um, we're subject to being bullied. Somebody larger than you, somebody meaner than you, somebody more aggressive than you. Uh, at some point in time, you know, it, for a short period or a long period, somewhat influenced your life. And, um, as you get older, of course, you know they they go away. You get in, when you enter a civilized society, people can't get away with it. They still try every so often. You run into you run into some people. Usually, they're um, uninformed. That's a polite way of putting it. Um, and you meet people that will try to you know they do these bully tactics, and you see it. And 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 and, and but as an adult, as a grown up, you know, as a as a as a middle aged an older human being when you encounter somebody in your own peer group that uses some of those same schoolyard high school level junior high school level bully things and you, you just kind of laugh at them because they're just like you realize wow you poor poor dear you are kind of stunted I don't know um, but anyway what I was thinking about what one of the things that 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 caught I was thinking with with bullies is it is that really um, when somebody's bullying at any age, um, you have to be able to step back, and it took me years to learn this. You sort of step back, and you have to look at them um, from a outside. You know, step outside yourself and step outside your situation, and look in and look at the look at the bully, look at their look at their relationship with you, and you realize that first of all, bullies tend to be people that are pretty useless at everything in life except for they have one skill they have one talent and that is making somebody else feel small that's the only thing they're good at in reality okay they're other than that they're a waste of space not that that's a good trait but that's what they're really good at that's the skill they've honed is this ability to make other people feel small whether it be about a deformity whether it be about their size whether it be about what, any trait about them, their race, their religion, whatever it is, they, they're able to make somebody else feel small. They're able to take something that should be a source of pride for somebody or should be a source of, you know, just one of their personality traits, one of the, one of the, the, the things about them that make them a unique human being, and they make somebody feel like shit about it. That's, that's the skill that these bullies have. Um... And once you realize that, it's really hard for them to pull it off, okay? Once you sort of realize, it's kind of like looking, you know, you realize how the magic trick is done. And um, I'm one, I remember when I was a kid, there was this guy, I don't even remember his name anymore. He was a, he was a junior high kid, and I was in grade school. And he would, I remember he, he I had a Scooby-Doo lunchbox, and he smashed it flat on the, at the, uh, 
bus stop one time and and for for several months this kid pretty much ruled my life um i mean to the extent of where i would actually walk the other direction um ultimately about a quarter mile the other way from my driveway to another bus stop so i didn't have to see this kid you know this kind of things the stupid things that kids do um anyway and it, it you know this this he just he just was this terrible terrible person and i for whatever reason i mean i, I I didn't know any better. I didn't know that you just by doing that those behaviors you just feed the bully. It's like feeding trolls on the internet. You feed the bully, altering your behavior. And um one day, I think one summer, I was riding my bike. Me and me and a friend of mine were riding my bike down and we went by his house and he was out in the front lawn and his dad was out there. It was this big tattooed shirtless monster nothing against tattoos. I'm not I'm not knocking that, but you know just this a big big guy. And, you know, he just dwarfed this kid that, that was bigger than me. And his dad, like, cuffed him in the side of his head, knocked him down in the front lawn, and was just calling him a, you know, you fucking loser, fucking worthless, blah, 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 just yelling at him. And this kid, he was crying in the front lawn. And I looked, and I and, I, and it was a terrible thing to witness. But it kind of brought a smile to my face, not, not out of cruelty, but because I saw what this bully really was. I saw him as this scared little boy dwarfed by somebody bigger than him and from that point on you know he just he never could bully me again even when he tried i just it was it he was comical to me at that point in time he just he didn't look so big anymore all of his the illusion was shattered and um i i, I kind of I took that as a life lesson whenever i encounter bullies i i realized that behind it all there's the fat kid that's getting picked on. Behind it all, there's the kid that's getting knocked around by his dad. There's the kid that is hiding something. There's the kid that's something, even if they're an adult. You know, there's they're a coward, and the only thing they can do, the only thing they can do to take away the pain, is make somebody else feel smaller than them. And that's what they are. And that's their basic, fundamental personality. Um, you know, and, and, you know, and I learned, and then when I got older and I got into, you know, into junior high and high school, I was, uh, I was, may not know this, but I was, um, a, uh, one of the early eighties punk scene. I was, I dove right into that head first, right into the American hardcore scene, uh, from, you know, 82, 83, 84, um, until it died. And, um, which, whew, made me a target okay i had a mohawk um the first mohawk in kitsap county in fact i made it made them newspaper which is kind of funny um but anyway they um it just i was targeted i remember the guy uh i'm not probably shouldn't name his name um but he was this just another freaking animal that used to just do all kinds of shit you know he just used to it just was this terrible terrible thing and um this kind of stuff but one of the things that I learned in getting bullied in, in during those time periods is that you, you, even if these people are bigger, if you don't bow to them, you know, if you don't do what they want, they don't really want to fight you, okay? You stand up to them, and they back off. Um, the, the They depend on people being afraid to stand up to them, being afraid to, you know, get in their faces back. And, um, you know, I was not never strong. I'm never a fighter. I got my ass kicked more times than I can count. In fact, almost whenever I've gotten in a fight, it, it ultimately ends in me getting my ass kicked. Um, but I learned that you can't be afraid to get your ass kicked. Um, and typically, once you get your ass kicked by, a, by the bully, once you stand up and, and let that happen, they just leave you alone after that point in time because they don't really want to fight you. Um, anyway, that that this is my ramblings. I'm gonna end this now. So I'm gonna. Uh, I just made this. This is kind of and fun more more than anything else. Just kind of talking about stuff. I, I it's a beautiful day out. I'm getting ready for my cruise to the Aleutian Islands. So I will uh, talk to you later. Bye.